What's cracking? Dylan here. Welcome to the channel. I've got the Best Arc BTC 500 DP Plasma Cutter. Best Arc sent this over to me so I could check it out and let you all know what I think. I've got the perfect project for it that'll push this little machine just a little bit. I've got 30 yards of dirt in DG that I need to spread out on my driveway, but the problem is when it showed up, it was full of big rocks. Don't want to have to pull those out by hand and rock buckets for the Bobcat are really expensive. So I picked up a cheap beat up bucket yesterday and I'm going to use this to cut the bottom out, cut some slots so I can turn it into my own sifting bucket. So let's get this thing open, see what's inside and give it a test. After watching this video, if you decide to purchase one of the best arc plasma cutters, it would mean the world to me if you'd use my affiliate link in the description. Thank you so much if you do. That is the single biggest contributor to keeping this channel alive and my fiance not getting mad at me for spending time late at night on these videos. I never expect much to come in a plasma cutter box. They're usually pretty plug and play and the best arc machine was no different. It's dual voltage and comes with your 220 to 110 adapter. The clamp and torch aren't commercial grade, but they're far from cheap feeling and trust me, I know cheap. So far, this is exactly the quality I would expect for a cutter at this price. Setup is easy. Every wire and hose can only fit into its own plug, so it's impossible to screw this up. As I would expect, it does have a moisture trap with a release on it. And one thing that I was really pleased about is that the machine already has the standard air hose fitting that all my other tools use. So instead of needing to rig up the connections on the included hose, I can just plug my air hose directly into the cutter. After turning it on and briefly being nervous about the error message, I realized the air hose wasn't hooked up. The error disappeared the instant I hooked up the air hose. You have the ability to adjust all of the machine settings on the front, like post airflow time and two touch or four touch. It's easy to adjust amperage and keep in mind while it's a 50 amp plasma cutter, that's only when you're plugged in to 220. On 110, you'll be limited to 35 amps. For context, 50 amps is good for up to around 5 8 inch steel and 35 amps is good for up to 15 30 seconds or a little over 7 16 a quick test shows that this machine will blast through a 16 gauge sheet of mild steel like it's warm butter which is expected but always satisfying to do but it's time for the real work. Let's bring in the bucket. Before we start cutting though, let's gear up. I've burned through too many shirts and pants, so now I go full leathers and whether I'm plasma cutting or angle grinding, welding, so now I go full leathers on and I make it through projects burn free. This gear will all be in the affiliate link below as well. If you would also, please consider liking and subscribing. That would be amazing. I set up a quick clamp with a piece of wood to help keep my cut straight, then let her rip. I knew parts of the bucket were 3 16 and some parts were double layer, so 3 8 but I forgot that there are areas that have a sizable gap to effectively make the bottom of the bucket ribbed for her, uh, I mean, uh, I mean ribbed for extra strength. I immediately realized those sections would just be too much for the little machine since those parts are well over the maximum of 5 8 that it's rated for. That said, the cutter did really great on the 3 16 and I probably should have slowed down a bit for the 3 8 but it still made it through. Again, it does work beautifully on the thinner steel. While I ended up using my Evolution handheld metal saw for the long straight cuts, this cutter did exactly what I needed for the short horizontal cuts where my Evolution saw was just too big and the cuts were smaller than the blade of my angle grinder. The angle grinder would have overcut a little bit. I do have a feeling that the Best Arc 80 amp cutter would have worked for the entire project. If you're looking for angle grinder blades though, I do have those for sale on my Amazon store and those will also be in the affiliate link. I did have to use the angle grinder near the bucket's cutting edge because that was another area that had the big gap between the two layers. But the angle grinder was definitely not my first choice and I much appreciated having the plasma cutter on 
those other spots. When it was time to reshape the cuttings in prep for welding them back onto the bucket vertically, the Best Art Cutter had its time to shine again. All in all, if you're looking for a 50 amp plasma cutter that can walk circles around 3.8 steel and is capable of more when needed, I'd have to give a thumbs up to this little Best Art machine. If you want more info about the evolution saw I used, check out the video I made for that one. If you have any questions at all, please let me know in the comments. Thank you all for watching. See you in the next one.